This video is sponsored by Vero. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to share with you a technique that I learned from Pep Ventosa. Pep Ventosa is a Spanish photographer that lives in California. And I tried to use his technique when I was in Ibirapuera's park. It's a park located here in Sao Paulo, Brazil. It's a very beautiful park and the day was really sunny. And I have tried his technique on some infrared photos. His technique is uh, about taking a series of images around a certain object. I will leave a link here so that you know more about Pep Ventosa's work. This technique works better when you have a single subject, an isolated subject. For example, this tree. So this tree, uh, you, you have to shoot it from a certain position, uh, leave a little room uh, for cropping later, and also um, you have to center it in your composition and then you go around you go around the tree taking some photos always trying to keep this the tree for example in this case at the center of your image for this example i shoot about five or uh, five from seven images i think but I strongly encourage you to try this technique using a larger number of photos. Uh, Pep's work, he uses about sometimes 30, 50, even 70 photos um, to produce his works. This creates an ethereal look. Uh, it look, looks like a painting and it's very cool to explore. After capturing the, the photos, um, I have edited in both Life, Lightroom and Photoshop and I will show you step-by-step uh, step how I edited this. So let's get into it. So I imported all my photos in Lightroom. Uh, as you can see, this is uh, an infrared shot. So uh, I will, uh, this is not the subject of this video, but the original file was like this. And then I applied the infrared settings. So it turned out like this. Um, and then you go uh, on editing here in Lightroom, so you do all the, your editing, lens correction, etc. After that, you go and paste all your settings to all photos. Okay, so you can see that I go around this tree, not uh, 180 degrees or 360 degrees, but maybe just a little less. Uh, this is just for an example, okay. Uh, and the final image is this one. So after I edit it and pasted all settings to all photos, I will select them, all of them, click it with the right button, edit it in, open as layers in Photoshop. Once all photos are loaded, you go here in the layers, select all of them, go here to layer, arrange, reverse. So I'll have the reverse photo. So this is the last one. And as you go down, you will get the other ones. So I will start by the last uh, photo. Uh, if you see here, there are some black swamps here. I don't want them in my photo. So I either can uh, erase them here by using, uh, for example, the spot healing uh, brush tool. Um, or I can do that later. So I will leave here these black swans for now. For each layer, I will have to try to leave um, a op lower opacity, for example, 70%, 79%. And then I will try to get the tree close to the layer below, maybe like this. Okay, um, don't worry about that. Uh, if it doesn't match, I'll crop later. That's why you have to leave some room for uh, your photo. So a wide angle lens is recommended. Then I will do, sorry, I'll go back here and I will change um, the blending mode so here is, you can play with those blending modes. For example, overlay, uh, or one that I like to use is soft light. 
soft light is really good. Sometimes lighten works good, screen or even darken. So sometimes it works also very good. So for this one, I will keep with uh, soft light, okay? And then I go on, okay? Next layer. And then I will reduce even more the opacity, like, I don't know, 65%. And again, I will try to match the previous trees. So maybe around here, okay? And again, I can change the blending mode. So try darken, multiply. And this is a personal... Um, you, you might want to try different ones to see whatever fits your, uh, your taste, okay? I think for this one I will go in the lighten. Looks good. Don't worry about this kind of halos or trunks here. We can erase them later. So for do that, I can go here and create a um, layer mask. Then I go here with the brush tool. And by pressing the X key or going here and pressing this one, uh, these two arrows, I can remove Sorry, take a look at your opacity mode. It's different, no, you could put normal and then you can erase this, okay? So you can do this uh, exactly the same. If you want this ones to stay in your photo, the, I will review the, uh, the layer below. Um, but if you don't want them, then you can erase them later, okay? So I'll leave this for now, just like it is. I'll move on to the next layer. Okay, so this layer here, I'll do the same. Uh, I'll go here, opacity, maybe 50%. And I will try to match the tree again. Don't worry, it doesn't have to be exact. This is just your taste, okay? Around here. Uh, let's see how it goes. This is a mess here, but I like that. I like this because it's it's like um, when you rotate around the tree, there are some trunks that will appear and others disappear. And I like this uh, as the way it, it is. But it, you can fit your taste as well. So for this layer, uh, it's in normal mode, but I can change it again. So darken, multiply, let's try darken, see, or maybe I don't know, soft light again. I like soft light because it increases the contrast between the trunk and the grass here. The grass is pure white due to the uh, infrared. I quite like that. Let's see it again. Let me zoom out and try overlay. Uh, not so good. Soft light works better. Let's see darken. Darken is also good. It reveals a little more of the branches. Uh, multiply. Nah, it's too, maybe too dark. Lighten. I like lighten here. It creates a more ethereal look to this. So I think I will leave this one at lighten. This video is sponsored by Vero. Vero is a social network that is more focused on quality than quantity. The great thing about Vero is that it's ad-free. There's no algorithms. You can actually see the content of the people that you are following. You can tap on a photo and you can zoom in, you can enlarge and see details. You see actual details on the photo. It's perfect for photographers. The feed is in chronological order. Let's say, for example, I just want to see photos. That's no problem at all. You just go to the photo section and you all see photos. You can, for example, for a certain uh, person that you follow, uh, okay, I just, I don't want to see introductions. This is a nice feature, uh, by the way. You can introduce a user and increase the engagement in, in the community. So you just see what you want to see. If you haven't downloaded it yet, please 
make sure to download it and don't forget to follow me there. I'll leave a link here in the description for my profile at Vero. Again, if you want to um, remove those swans, you can do it now or you can do it later, okay? The next layer, again, change the opacity a little less, maybe 37%, for example. I will try again here to match the tree. Let's see. Okay, around here and change the blending mode again maybe darken lighten I just too bright screen screen works well sometimes uh, overlay uh, soft light yeah soft light I like it I'll leave it soft light um, then you move on to the next layer and so on, as many layers as you have. Now I'll leave here opacity about, I don't know, 24%. Zoom in, try to match here the trunk with the tree. Okay. And then, if I don't like this, for example, I can go back to the previous layers and try to erase it with um, uh, a layer mask. Okay. As you can see, there are also some black swans here on the lake as well. Uh, let's change the blending mode. Darken. Let's see here how this is. Uh, maybe lighten. Screen. Overlay, soft light again, I don't know, darken. Oh, for this one, darken, I think it works better. Leave soft light for this one. And the last one, change the opacity, I'll leave it like, I don't know, 15, 10%, 12%. Try to match it again. You can increase just to uh, <clears throat> try to see better where the tree is fitting so I, this is a difficult one but i can rotate the image as well uh, common t on mac or Control uh, t on windows you can uh, hold shift key and reduce the tree size or increase the tree size this is a nice tip as well if it's not fitting sometimes it's well, something like here Okay, you can also uh, rotate a little bit to fit better if you want to. Or you can even try to transform and distort. For example, you can try to make it fit better to your taste. Okay, that's pretty good. So, now let's take a closer look. Right. I will try to get rid of this swan. So for that, I will select all my layers. Um, Command Alt Shift E. It creates a new layer based on all of these changes you made. Okay. Uh, in Windows is uh, Control Alt Shift E. And now I can begin uh, erasing by using the spot healing brush too, but you can use whatever. Okay, it's pretty good. There's also something I don't want here. Okay, it's not too bad. I mean, I just going, um, I would have to fine tune this. I'm just, it's, it's just an example for you to try out, okay? So we might want uh I won't try to perfect this. Okay, there's also here and here, but you can also use uh, the uh, clone stamp too. Okay, you can also use that. Oh, the other swans that I won't bother. Uh, fine, that's fine. That's pretty cool. So 
So now let's crop it. Let's crop the image. We go here. Maybe around here and around here. So that's important for you. You have to leave room for it because it's certain that you're going to crop. I'll crop even more here. Just a little bit here. Okay. Now, now I will go and uh, flatten the image so I can go either here. Uh, layer, flatten image. If you, uh, I will just do a Control Z here, or Command Z. Uh, if you are aren't sure that you are going to go back to edit anymore, then you can flatten the image. If you, if you want to go back and adjust something later, uh, you might want to preserve your layers. Okay, so layer, I will um, flatten image. Then I'll save, Command S or Control S. And then let's go back to Lightroom. And here is our image. I will make a two stars. And then you can, um, you can work on, again, in the image. It's saved as a TIFF. And you can improve even more the edit here. So uh, you can do another round of edit here in Lightroom. This is the photo that I made now, and this is the one that I worked a little better. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoy, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you on the next video.